part. Okay. Uh, so uh, we discussed in the last uh, class, we uh, discussed uh, neutralization, uh, localization and comparison, which was in language and brain. And now we are going to, uh, today we're going to discuss the anatomy of the uh, brain, which is called as the quick geography on uh, the brain. Uh, I hope you all can see the screen. So uh, we have, uh, basically, we, we talk about hemispheres, right? Hemispheres are the two parts of uh, the brain that we have divided in two hemispheres, two parts, which is one is left and one is on the right. So uh, we, what we are going to um, look at here in, in the anatomy of the brain is we're going to look at it uh, from the upper versus lower perspective. We're going to look at it from the left versus right perspective. And we're going to look at it from the front versus back um, ways like uh, the way a brain is um, in its physical form, which is actually brain and not mind. Uh, the upper Okay. Uh, the upper versus lower in, uh, in in the upper surface of the brain, um, it has gray matter, uh, which uh, is um, this the uh, it's it's called gray because it is um, uh, it has the color of the uh, gray, and that gray matter is called uh, cortex, right? Or um, cortical area. It deals with many of the more uh, complex operations. Uh, this this gray matter is, uh, which is on the upper part of the uh, surface, it is uh, mostly um, associated with the complex functions. Um, and, and you can also say that it is uh, associated with the with the functions which is uh, which is uh, which is not um, uh, uh, which which are voluntary functions. So I know I, I hope you know what are what is the difference between voluntary and involuntary. So uh, with the voluntary functions uh, which are more complex. For example, uh, if there is a problem, so how do you analyze it and things like that. Uh, it, it, it also stores uh, information and uh, it, it is used. For for storing the information. So if you remember, um, we talked about that there is a, a lexicon in your brain, like there is a full storage of words and meanings in your brain or uh, schemas. This all information is stored in the upper part of the uh, brain, which is the gray matter or also called cortex. And it is used for analyzing input and controlling sophisticated uh, uh, muscular movements. Sophisticated muscular movements are those muscular movements which are not ordinary muscular movements, but it, it is the muscular movements that we do uh, in order to uh, react to certain uh, situation. They are not right reflex section. What are reflex section? Reflex section. I, I hope it, there was a camera in here because uh, it's difficult to uh, teach without you know expressions uh, in in this case. But uh, if someone uh, if if someone you know is is uh, like for example when we are uh, when we give a, a punch to someone and the person knows that there is a punch coming, right? So. Um, what do they do? They try to save themselves. This is a re reflex section. Or if, for example, there's a hot object and you touch it, you instantly remove your hand because it's a reflex section. These are muscular moments which are controlled by the lower parts part of the brain, right? Not by the upper part of the brain. Upper part moments are those moments where you uh, like, for example, you are doing yoga, you are doing exercise. These are the muscular movements which are uh, uh, controlled by the upper part of the brain. Uh, below it is the subcortex, which is white matter. So uh, right below the uh, upper uh, or gray, uh, sorry, the gray matter, there is subcortex, which is uh, the white um, uh, matter and which is mainly nerve cell fiber. It is... Um, uh, uh, like it is consisting of the nerve cell fibers, right? Nerves which are which control our body, and they are very important part of our uh, body. They are all spread in. Uh, they have link to the uh, to to all parts of our body. And if uh, they are they, if there is any damage to that part of the brain, uh, then we are unable to move or we are unable to perform very um, basic functions uh, in in our um, uh, physical functions in our life. Uh, in general, the lower parts of the brain are, are responsible for reflex section, and uh, which I've already explained what is reflex section. So it, it is responsible for reflex section and controlling functions such as breathing and heartbeats. Now you'll see that breathing and heartbeat is something which is uh, uh, involuntary 
something that you uh, uh, sorry some, uh, something that you, something that you can uh, not control you cannot control uh, that you your breathing or you, your breathing is done automatically right same as the case with heartbeat you cannot stop your heartbeat by yourself so it is uh, something which is uh, not controlled so the lower part of the brain controls the uh, functions which are uh, in uh, which are um, voluntary there's someone in the chat. What is it? Uh, the topic is of uh, Noor Hamid. Uh, the topic is uh, the geography of brain. If you're unable to see the screen, the screen is in front of you, okay? Uh, okay, so um, so we have uh, this, uh, he, I'm here, right here, if you can see this section. We are discussing this section. Uh, okay, so it's, uh, um, it's, uh, it's, uh, Give me a second, please. Thank you. Okay, so um, we were discussing this voluntary function. So we have uh, we have uh, these um, uh, these functions are sorry involuntary functions. These functions are involuntary functions. So it's, such functions are controlled by. Uh, the upper part of the brain, right? The cerebrum at the base of the brain has a delicate role in uh, coordinating a range of muscular movements which have um, uh, become highly automatic. So uh, the cerebrum is also the part of, if you can see the diagram, I'll show you the diagram. See it. You can see this, this, uh, here we have this uh, uh, cerebellum, right? So uh, cerebellum is uh, the part, it, it's, a, it's at the base of the uh, brain and it uh, performs the role of coordinating uh, a different range of movements, muscular movements. It is only associated with muscular movements, right? Uh, uh, then we come towards the left and the right, um, left and the right brain. Uh, left and the right parts of the brain and we have we all know about hemispheres there are it is divided into brain is basically divided into two hemispheres one is left hemisphere and one is right hemisphere so the uh, on the on the left hand side if we, we know that the left hemisphere controls the movements and sensation on the right hand side of the body and the right hemisphere control controls the movements on the left hand side of the body now how do we know that it is it functions like in this way because if there is any damage to the right side of the brain uh, to the right side uh, to the right hemisphere then uh, the functions which are performed on the left hand side are um, uh, you know can uh, we cannot perform those function if you have seen any uh, paralyzed patient you You'll know that sometimes their one side of the uh, body is uh, not working or or it's it's uh, paralyzed so when uh, one side if the left side of the brain if the left side of the body is paralyzed so it means that uh, the right side of the brain is damaged right so that's how we know that it is it functions in this way um uh, they are uh, joined by uh, like left hemisphere and right hemisphere. If you remember, we discussed in lateralization that they are not completely two different parts of the brain, right? They are um, they are connected in some ways, and that's it. That is the reason that um, they are uh, like if uh, in early ages, in critical age or in critical period, if the child is unable to communicate or is is if there is any damage to the brain, um, one side of the brain, then the other may take over in that case because they are connected with one another it's not like we can say that the left hemisphere is there and light hemisphere is then and there is no connection between them there is connection between them and they are joined by a complex web of nerve connection which is called corpus callosum right there's a nerve connection in between them so if you uh, join your two hands together uh, your fingers apart so you'll see how the net is there like it's so it's it's joined into in, in that way Right. Okay, so the left uh, hemisphere, we have already discussed that the left hemisphere controls the right side of the body and the right hemisphere controls the 
left side of the body the left hemisphere is most uh, in most individual is associated with analytical processing and uh, uh, symbolization um, which means that uh, it is more associated with the uh, how to do things how to you know logical uh, thinking and things like that uh, if you have ever uh, attempted a test uh, hamid might have attempted it, attempted uh, exams in which we have analytical questions it is the same analytical questions where your logic Logical thinking is um, targeted, so uh, it is our left hemisphere which controls and which uh, process all this information, which is in the analytical or logical uh, sense. Whereas the right hemisphere is uh, associated with the perceptual and spatial uh, representation. Like, uh, for example, uh, if something is, if if there is a car uh, which you see in a picture, you can see uh, from even from the picture that this car is far, far away, and you can even uh, see that this car is near the person. Even you can you can when you're driving, uh, your uh, your your right hemisphere is in action. That is, you know when the car is coming near in which speed is the car coming towards you so this all process is done through the um, uh, through this uh, this this uh, uh, right hemisphere even the perception like the, the way we you know, perceive things the way we see things if uh, i don't i don't know if you have studied in it in psychology perception but in perception we see that how um, how as as um uh, okay uh, how a uh, how we have this uh, uh, this this we we perceive certain things so when we look at the clouds we see a picture in that or when we draw something on the board if i draw something on the board any random uh, lines you'll get to get to know what is that uh, based on what already what is already present in your brain what is already present in your mind the knowledge which is stored in your brain i hope left and uh, left versus right is clear left versus right hemisphere is clear to you all uh then we have uh, front versus uh, back brain uh, so in it, uh, what do we have in a uh, front versus back the outer surface of the uh, brain is marked by the mounds uh, which is called gyri and the valleys which is called sulci right these serve to uh, mark out four major regions in each hemisphere so uh, this uh, uh, in front versus back we have uh, we we divide them into four uh, major um, uh, lobes right and if each lobe has its own function that it performs so if you see this you can see that we have this frontal lobe here right we have this parietal lobe here we have this occipital lobe here you are looking at this picture of the brain which is actually one hemisphere single hemisphere right are you getting yes ma'am yes ma'am yes. okay uh, okay good um so we have uh, uh we have these uh, we have these uh, a front versus back in within so you're looking at each in each lobe we have uh, sorry in each hemisphere we have these uh, four four lobes right and they perform um, different functions so when we look at these four lobes when we look at these uh, when we look at these uh, uh, four lobes you can see that we have over here frontal lobe we have temporal lobe lobe um, we have occipital lobe and we have parietal lobe so each each one is located in its specified um, uh, places and specified uh, like they have specified uh, 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 like uh, areas where they are located and uh, frontal lobe is located at the front side because it is named as frontal right so it, it is located at the front side of the brain the um, par the temporal lobe is uh, running from uh, front to the back so if you see it in this picture you see that see temporal lobe is running from the front to the back this is temporal lobe right then we have occipital lobe right which is right um, uh, next to the temporal lobe and then where it like as it is moving from here to this so we have uh, occipital lobe at towards that place and then parietal lobe is actually towards the end uh, and towards the back of the um, uh, frontal lobe which is uh, as which is called as the 
uh, parietal lobe. Each one of them perform different function. The frontal lobe uh, uh, controls the uh, functions of uh, reasoning, of planning, or or um, or general movements, emotion, problem solving. Such things are controlled by the frontal lobe. Means uh, you know major functions which are performed by um, a person is controlled by the frontal lobe even personality is controlled by the frontal lobe so if you are acting because of um, because based on your personality it is uh, through the frontal lobe we have parietal lobe parietal lobe um, uh, is uh, it, it it controls uh, comprehension which is understanding of certain things so if you are understanding uh, something it's because of the parietal lobe uh, it also includes uh, visu visual function or for example language reading or or for example if there is a stimulus in front of you it's because of that it, you understand it because of the parietal lobe. So for example, if there is writing on the board and you know the, the written words, then you perceive it and that perception of the stimuli and its understanding, its comprehension is through the parietal lobe. So uh, any stimulus in front of you is um, is, is uh, understood through the parietal lobe. Then we have occipital lobe. Occipital lobe is, uh, uh, it, 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 it is, uh, uh, it controls the primary um, uh, function of uh, the visual processing or uh, things like, for example, color. So you can differentiate between colors, you can differentiate between shapes, you can differentiate between angles. These all are controlled by the occipital lobe. Right. So it, it, though it is primary function, but it is very important function that, you know, you, you know, the difference between the colors, you know, the difference between the shapes, you know, the difference uh, like this 3D or 4D things that you're understanding around your around you is all because of uh, all because of occipital lobe. Right. You understand angles. It's because of occipital lobe. Then we have temporal lobe. Temporal lobe is associated with auditory stimuli and it is also responsible for um, uh, under some, some memory because, uh, because when you have heard certain language uh, and certain word, you you your it's 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 temporal lobe which has which has this um, understanding which has this uh, uh, perform this function of understanding the language or understanding a sound it is through this temporal lobe that you understand that what words you are speaking or anything even if it's a shout you understand that it's a shout if it is uh, if it is um, uh, if it is something which is a word you understand the meaning of that word so uh, it's the sound stimulus is uh, auditory stimuli if there is noise if there is music you enjoy if there is noise you get irritated so if you uh, this um, this uh, understanding of the sound is all associated with the temporal lobe. Are you all clear? Yes, ma'am. Um, we have uh, pre, we have uh, important, especially important are the prefrontal areas, which appear to be responsible for recognizing similarities between objects and grouping them into uh, categories, which which I have already discussed uh, as in the uh, as in the lobes and damage in these areas may reduce the ability to choose between alternatives or to and to suppress old uh, routines when new information tells us to modify them it may also limit the uh, sufferer's ability to perform tasks that involve seeing things for, uh, from the perspective of uh, others because it is the frontal lobe and you know associated with that so it's because of it, because it's controlling the major functions that's why it's difficult to understand uh, and to comprehend new information because it's difficult to store that information and secondly it's difficult to understand that information um, so if it's performing major functions we and and there's damage to the brain uh, that uh, uh, frontal part of the brain or prefrontal part of the brain then it's obvious that uh, the person may uh, lose the major uh, or is unable to perform the major functions in their uh, uh, life. Uh, a narrow area controlling the motor operations, uh, which are actually the muscular movements, uh, that is the way you run or do things in everyday uh, life, um, or for example, sit or stand or, you know, do 
very minute functions, everyday functions, right? Uh, it is in uh, about the midway down the side of each hemisphere. So um, it is on the, it runs from the mid to the, uh, to the side of each hemisphere, right? On the both sides of each hemisphere. So if you see this one empty portion in the, um, uh, in between the central, in, in between the temporal and the occipital lobe, this is what they're talking about. Okay, let's compare um, uh, between, uh, uh, this section is about comparison, right? So uh, there are some comparisons uh, between the brain of human beings and uh, that of the other primates, right? Now, as we are talking about brains, so we have to um, uh, look at what are the things that they do and what are the comparison and what are the similarities and differences between their brain and our brain. And why are we able to perform, you know, complex functions and they aren't? Or is it that we believe that only we can perform these uh, functions and they cannot? So the cortex is much more extensive in human beings. Um, so, uh, okay, I have 10 minutes left in this se session, okay? Cortex is uh, much more complex in this uh, uh, in, in human brain as compared to um, animals. Human uh, prefrontal area are up to six times bigger than those of uh, chimpanzees, which means that chimpanzees can perform function, but uh, not as, uh, as, as, as much as humans um, can. Then we have the brain of other uh, species. Yes, the brain of other species are divided into two hemispheres like human, uh, human brains like human beings and uh, uh, like, for example, um, and some of the number of uh, species as well. Give me a minute, please. Uh, okay, so uh, what was I saying? Um, yes, so it's uh, like human beings, a number of species I have a left hemisphere, which is more developed. And why is left hemisphere more developed? Can anyone answer, please? Yes, anyone of you? Why is left hemisphere more developed in animals as compared to human beings? Yeah, because they are animals. <laughs> That's oh, not an answer. <laughs> That's not an answer. Okay, yes. Anyone else? <laughs> Why? Yeah, left hemisphere, I have said that from the logical perspective and technical things, it means that it is left hemisphere. Hota hai. Mm -hmm. so, animals, I don't think it's not that it doesn't happen. Left hemisphere hai. controls the movement. Body movement. Okay. Animals may is liye wo zyada establish hota hai. Why is it uh, why is it more complex in animals? Because animals can run fast. Animals have quick movements uh, that they can do. Animals have multiple in multiple ways they can you know jump. They can and each animal has their uh, own way of of movement. Like look at leopard, right? But so that's why it is yes. This. The yapi to hai ki left hemisphere jo hai wo analytical processes ko bhi control karte to animals mein to ye analytical process nahi ho sakti logical thinking wagaira to nahi kar sakti yes but it is based on this um, uh, why not analytical to nahi hai lekin at least they have the spatial and perceptual uh, representation jo ki spatial or perceptual to right pe hota hai na ma'am wo right hemisphere control karta hai left Ma'am, you have written here, left versus right. Ma'am, you have written here, that the right wala jo hai, is special and... Ah, ah, control right wala, sorry, right wala, wala control karta hai. Yes, uh, left wala control karta hai of... Um, uh, ye kya hai? Body Logical moments ko control karta hai. Thinking. Exactly. Lo uh, Usme to logical, like in movement, which you control karta to because it's because of the movement. Because movement may animals jo hai wo zada fast move karte hain. 
या उनके जो स्टिमिलाई uh, है ना वो उसको जल्दी पिक करते हैं जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल उनके सेंसेस ज्यादा तेज होते हैं एज कम्पेयर टू ह्यूमन बींग्स तो मतलब मैम रिफ्लेक्स रिस्पोंसेस की बेस पर हम लोग ये बोलेंगे कि एनिमल्स के जो है लेटम इसको ज्यादा डिपेंड इट्स बिकॉज़ ऑफ द बॉडी मूवमेंट इट्स बिकॉज़ ऑफ द मैम तो फिर तो इसके साथ इनकी लॉजिकल और ये एनालिटिकल uh, प्रोसेस भी चाहिए कि ये भी जो है वो बहुत ज्यादा इंप्रूव्ड हो एज कंपेयर्ड टू ह्यूमन तो वो क्यों नहीं ये इट्स बिकॉज़ ब्रेन हैज इवन इन लेफ्ट एंड राइट हेमिस्फीयर हम तो बहुत बेसिक पढ़ रहे हैं राइट वी आर स्टडीइंग वेरी बेसिक parts of the brain there are multiple parts of the brain like for example one tiny part of the brain which is called renin cephalon controls your smell that one tiny mm-hmm. dot like 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 when you put a dot on with the pen it's this much part of your brain which controls your uh, uh, renin cephalon which controls the smell only smell right so if it is not there you cannot you cannot smell at all fir uske ilawa jo aur parts hai wo aur usko control karte hain ki wo kis kisam ki smell aapko achhi lag rahi hai aapko buri lag rahi hai insaan ko kaise pata lagta hai ki achhi lag rahi hai buri lag rahi hai ye fir alag alag parts hain brain mein so we are, we are basically talking about overall function of the uh, brain right so left hemisphere okay. is a huge part of the brain so there are tiny parts in the brain but why do we say that it's uh, more in um, uh it's it's more developed in um uh, not more developed but it uh, yes more developed in um, animals because it is uh because it controls the movement and that is why it is more developed okay. in, in the in the um, animals theek okay? hai okay okay in human beings a greater portion of the motor area is given over uh, to the uh, control of mouth tongue and jaw why why in human beings a greater portion of the motor area see although we have motor function too movement function too but it is mostly given to the mouth and tongue and jaw area why because of the language movement yahan par hoti hai ma'am because of language fahad said that right yes because of language because yes. we can speak that's why because when we are using language we it's a very complex process that when we are speaking so that is why uh, in human beings are given greater portion of the motor area in in the in the area of mouth tongue and jaw because we speak that's why the human cerebellum is very um, much larger relative uh, to brain size than in other species and the motor areas in human cortex appears to exercise a high degree of control over the larynx uh, which regulates the passage of air in breathing and speech and in other species the uh, operation of the larynx is mainly or entirely controlled by the lower part of the brain why is it controlled by the lower part of the brain because they only use it for praying or eating or you know things like that so that's why with them it's uh, it's associated with the lower part of the brain with us it's associated with the upper part of the brain because upper part of the brain controls uh, complex functions complex functions like storing information so if the information is stored in the upper part of the brain it means that when we are speaking something we know where our tongue has to move where our where the larynx has to create more air in order to produce the sound so i can produce different sounds like the th and d right it's because my brain is associated with the upper part of the brain and it is linked with you know how i speak so the larynx is associated with that its function is controlled by that area i hope so far it's clear i have 2 minutes left in this session correct clear Any yes question? ma'am it's clear any question yes, you can do this clear. okay you can do this yes, activity and uh, i i'll give this activity to you people in the assignment this activity on page number 9 all right yeah, ma'am you can do it as an example ma'am aap dusra session le rahi hain ki nahi ma'am kya ma'am aap dusra link send link send kar rahi hain yes yes i'll send the link yes because then you have to start this yes agar मैम अगर किसी मतलब दूसरे उसमें करे मैंने प्रिपेयर तो किया लेकिन जिस तरह मैं करना चाहता हूँ उस तरह मैंने 